Before I started coming to Sule, I was in school. But due to my father's death and due to financial constraints, everything just went from grace to grass and I dropped out of school. I was studying building tech in Laspo Tech. I was in uh, ND2 before I dropped out. So that's how I was just trying my best to see if I can go back to school and start maybe a new program or the former program. I grew up in uh, La Samaja, in Lagos City. But right now, I don't have a, a place where I stay now. I stay at uh, under the bridge, at Jolegla. I'm from a broken home. My father is dead, and since, since then, everything has been upside down. No, no hope for the family. We're just trying to survive. I mean, to is a very petty business. It's a petty business. I'm doing all this uh, snack business. And I save money through donating my blood to buy the materials and I borrow the gas. Now what I need to fry it. I didn't learn it come because I'm a very creative uh, person. I just search on the net through my phone. How can we, can I do can I start producing bones? And I saw the tutorial there and I that that was how I started. Coming to Fgate has impacted my life positively. I got to know about the foundation through my fellow uh, destitute uh, colleagues and not letting me go together in the stadium. So things, the past five months now, I've been attending Fgate and there have been improvements in the way I do things, the way I live, everything about me has been changed positively. Without Fgate, some youth would have lost hope, including me. But coming to Fgate, I saw hope around the corner. And I came to every teaching that we normally get from the counseling every Wednesday, every Wednesday. So I just give all thanks to the Creator for directing me to this place. The soup kitchen started from, you know, a burning desire to actually feed the hungry. You see, we have a society where there is no social security. We set out with a mind of um, feeding people who are in genuine need. Remember, our focus and our desire are the youths who probably are out of school, no food, no work, no job. My name is it is Caroline Imala. I live at 102 Tire Road, Sunlere, Lagos. I sell the food, rice, beans, and other things. Well, I know about Egg Gates. Last year they started, a, they did one program called Business Booster, and I turned. And I was one of the, the people they picked. They taught us how to maintain customers, how to attend to the customers where you where you have customers, how to speak to them so that you, you maintain your customers for them not to go. They answer me by giving me money. I explain to them what do I have the money, want to use the money for. And I tell them that I want to use it. I said only rice and beans, but if they can help me, I had to swallow. And God so kind, they did it and give me the money. And I started to swallow since then. Everything has been looking fine. Fgate actually started out of passion, maybe because of my kind of upbringing. I was the child of a widow who was very industrious and very hospitable. But you know, to get this far in life, go to school and be what we are today, yes, is the grace of God, but hard work, 
diligence, discipline. So I now look around me and I say that the youth of today actually don't understand such things. And that's why I felt somebody must be there to teach them what they need to learn and to do. So presently, we have some students on our list that Edgate pays their school fees and assists them in furthering their education. My name is Belo Faidat. I stay at Orile Gomo. I'm a student of Kora State Polytechnic, Department of Mass Communication, currently in MB2. I, guess, I got to know of Elbgate Foundation when I was in SS2 at ID Girls Senior High School. They usually come to my school for school outreach to educate us on effects of drug abuse, um, how to work hard for our exams. Um, I came here for tutorials for my SSC. By the end of the SSC, after writing it, I didn't make my maths. But before the results were released, I was already volunteering here. That was in 2017. When my results came out and the maths was not good, but I already wrote jam then, and I passed jam. With the help of Webgate, I was, I was able to write GC exams that same year, in 2017. But unfortunately, I didn't make maths again with literature and English. So in 2018, I registered for NECO, still with the help of Webgate Foundation. Then I wrote jump again. But by God's grace, I passed NECO exams and I passed jump. Then I got admission to the University of Illinois. But due to one thing or the other, I was told that my admission was not valid. But by then, Elbgate already paid my acceptance fee. But I was told the admission was not valid, so I had to leave the school. But luckily, Cora State Polytechnic offered me admission to study mass communication. So I accepted the offer, and Elbgate paid all, all the fees, both school fee, acceptance fee, accommodation, textbooks, and every other expenses. Helpgate is hope giver to me because Helpgate has given me hope that I can still further my education because if I had not come to Helpgate, probably I would just be at home learning something or just sitting down at home after my first work. My name is um, Mrs. Obutoyi Oluranti Oduton, the former principal of IG Girls Senior High School, Suru Uliri, Lagos. During the past four years that we have had a relationship with HelpGate, they have greatly mentored our students because many of our students come from poor homes. Um, through their feeding programs, they have ensured that the children are well fed and therefore they are able to listen to us as teachers in the school whenever we are teaching them. Whenever we are preparing students for WASA exams, that's the SS3 exams. They come along to mentor them, to tell them that they can. They have ensured the I can spirit in the children. That is, they can achieve whatever it is they desire to achieve, not minding where they come from. It does not matter what their environment is, actually. It does not matter what they are going through. But they have so mentored them that they can fulfill that purpose for which God has created them. That's what Elgate has done for my students, at least in IG Girls in High School. Elgate has progressed from 2015 when I was 45. Elgate has actually progressed with each of my birthdays. We want to remodel this, you know, premises. Remodel it and let it look youthful, modern, and proper. As much as it is charity, it also needs to think of sustainability and progress. It needs to think beyond where it started from. My hope is that we can take it from here to a greater level and to a better level. You know, remodel the building, repackage and restructure in such a way that the youth will find more assistance they will find more place to develop their skills and of course also hoping that um, we can develop more on our social enterprises which will help us strengthen our financial standard our stand and help us to continue the project